Hi everyone! So I have a guest with me today. That Minecraft guy is here. Hi everyone! And we're here because sometimes when you're working on Minecraft worlds like this, you need a little bit of help. So we're going to show you one of the ways that we have worked together to create something new. Hello everyone, I'm that Minecraft guy, and today I have a friend from Fantasia Techcraft, and she's going to walk me through how to create an MC add-on pack from a resource and development pack. <laughs> so I guess the first thing we need to do is we need to copy my resource and development pack folders from where they are and put them in a location where we can package them later. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring over file explorer i'm in the location for my development resource packs and my behavior packs so there is my school desk so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to throw that on my desktop for now it's always a good idea to do this when you're making changes to a finished resource pack and behavior pack so that just in case you make a mistake when you're trying to package them together, you still have the original someplace safe. And I'll grab it from... There's my behavior pack, and we'll throw that up on the desktop too. Okay, and then next up, we need to do something in, in Minecraft education. Exactly. Yeah, so you want to make sure that your test world has any of the preliminary or the prototype versions of this pack removed, and then you want to make sure that you've gotten rid of it from all of Minecraft, or you're going to get that duplicate folder error or duplicate resource pack error. Okay, so I'm going down into my behavior packs. Yep, it's good to always start with behavior packs because oftentimes, mm -hmm. whether you're adding or removing, uh, they will often pull the resource pack associated with them along with it. So you can go ahead and deactivate that. Okay. And you want to check in resource packs because it's not a guarantee. And there we go. Okay, so they're now both removed. Okay, so now that they're off that world, you can go ahead and delete them from Minecraft. So you're going to go back to your main screen. Mm -hmm. You're going to go into settings, and you're going to go all the way down to storage, and then you can see you've got a resource pack storage and a behavior pack storage, and you're just going to delete the packs that we're going to be copying over. Okay. There goes the school one. Mm -hmm. There's the behavior pack. Okay. And there we go. Gone. Perfect. Okay, so now they are both gone. So um, additionally, now that we've removed them from Minecraft, they should also be gone from my Minecraft education development resource pack folders and behave development behavior pack folders, yeah. which is where I place um, just for anyone's information, that's where I place my resource packs and behavior packs while I'm working on them. So I don't have to go and import them and change the uh, UUID and so forth every time I make a change to it. That's a way of flawlessly, and sorry, not flawlessly, but just fluidly changing bits and pieces in there and before I, I pack them up and, and ship them out. So let's, uh, let's go over to uh, File Explorer now. Mm -hmm. Just drop that in here. So here we are at my uh, development and resource pack areas. All right. So I'll go into it. And um, as I can see, just to double check, both of those, those desk, school desk folders are now gone from there. Perfect. And if you're watching on my channel and you're not sure how to find these folders, I will put the little eye up in the corner and you can click on it and watch my video on how to find them. Perfect. So now we can go to our desktop mm -hmm. and we're going to combine these folders. 
Yes. The way that Reliably works for me is we're going to create a, kind of a holding folder for each of these, the resource packs and the behavior packs. So you're going to create a new folder and your first one you're going to call behavior packs, behavior underscore packs. Make sure behavior is spelled the American way. And then you're going to do the same thing for resource underscore packs. And then you're going to move the behavior pack into the behavior pack folder and the resource pack into the resource packs folder. All right. Okay. So normally you could install these separately, but we don't want to do that because that's messy. We want to combine them mm -hmm. into one thing that we can click. So you're going to select both of them and you're going to right. add those to a zip archive. All right. And we're pressing zip. Mm -hmm. And you're going to rename it to the name of your pack. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to change zip to MC add on. And yeah. And there we go. So now, when I double click and run this, it should automatically add this to Minecraft Education. It should. Started and it's successful. Yay! So, so that's great. there's the resource pack, there's the behavior pack. All right, so let's go back to my world here, and we'll add them in. Here we go. And the nice thing is when you do them oh, from an add-on, add that's mm -hmm. where that link happens, so it knows when mm -hmm. you do the behavior pack to pull the resource pack in with it. All right, so now when I go and click on play, they should be all inside my world. There we go. Oh, there Yay. they all are. Oh, it's, it's so cool. <laughs> and I'm ready for my next lesson. <laughs> All right. Nope. Oh, I jumped on top of my desk there. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Well, thank you very much for walking me through that today. You're very welcome.